What's up guys? So, um, if you remember a couple of days ago now, maybe not even that, I did a really quick video on like some of the media set up in my house. And a lot of you guys said to me, uh, can you please go more in depth? Um, which to be funny like is quite a kind of uh, funny sentence if you look at it from um, a kind of rude sense of humour where I had loads of comments saying please go deeper, please go deeper, please go more in depth but anyway that's an irrelevant uh, thing so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a more in depth uh, look at the media set up in my house so first things first uh, let me just turn this camera around because I'm not on my phone I'm using a little Nikon camera. So uh, this is my kitchen here, and in fact, even over here in the corner of the kitchen, uh, sorry, my bikes are in here at the moment, you can see that I have got ethernet ports just over here uh, in the kitchen. And this is the same throughout the rest of the house. All the way around the house are ethernet ports. Now over here, there's the dog there. Uh, I've got this kind of cupboard um, this is not a very wide angle lens, so I've got to sort of step back. Yeah, and in that cupboard is where I've got all of my kind of cables uh, and stuff like that. You can see there as well, I've got a TV on the wall. And the only cable that is going to that is an HDMI cable and a power cable. And in fact, just here, if I can somehow point to it, there, see that light there, that is an Apple TV. Now, there's not a skybox in this room. And for those of you that don't know, sky is kind of like our uh, satellite system here in the UK for all of our sort of cable channels if you like and the satellite box is actually in that cupboard now that satellite box feeds this TV and the one upstairs via uh, HDMI over Ethernet and what that means is that it basically turns an HDMI signal into an Ethernet signal so you can basically push it to whatever room you want to and you can watch it in whatever room you'd like to over that, HG, over that Ethernet cable, you can also send, as part of the HDMI over Ethernet, an infrared receiver as well. So the actual TV remote works in any room. Not the TV remote, sorry, the Sky remote. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go in this cupboard and show you guys my patch panel, which actually patches all of the cables in, like we saw over there, uh, and also uh, the HDMI to Ethernet converter. So I'm just going to open this up and try and get some decent lighting in there and I'll be back with you in a sec. So here we are guys, we're back in here now and I can't get very good lighting in here so I hope this is coming out. But this is my actual patch panel that I've got here um, and as you can see uh, these are all my uh, p patches that are going through. So the labels are hopefully as you can see, uh, kitchen, bedroom, bedroom 3, bedroom 4, bedroom 5. Etc. Uh, Etc. Et and anything I patch into this panel comes out on the socket uh, in that other room. So if I've got like my router and stuff in here, like I have got, I can just literally patch that through uh, to any room that I want to. So it's very very easy to patch uh, all of my routers through wireless um, NAS devices, you know, whatever I want through to other rooms. Now what I'm going to do now is I've just got to open up. Uh, these little holes here on the front and then I can show you the Ethernet to HDMI converter sorry vice versa that is uh, HDMI to Ethernet converter uh, so give me two secs and I'll be back with you so here we are guys and this is pretty much the best view I can get first of all there you can see we've got an HDMI splitter so that actually just splits the HDMI from one HDMI to another now that bigger box there on top you can see we've got two Ethernet cables coming out the other end in the yellow just there and then one Ethernet going in and that is the actual HDMI over Ethernet converter. So that kind of shows you that there and then there is the back of all of my patch panel which I've patched together myself. And then also there you can see all of the cables going all around the house. Sorry, the light has just run out. There we go. Um, so there you can also see all of the H all of the Ethernet cables going throughout the house. And this is all Cat6, so it's full gigabit Ethernet. So there you go, that is the cable itself. And then here is the back of my skybox. And you can see that I've got uh, the HDMI cable coming out of there. And then that goes into the HDMI over Ethernet converter. And then away we go. Now also what I've got here guys is this lab gear uh, and this is an 8-way home distribution unit. So this actually distributes the uh, the reception all around uh, all of the different ports that I've got located around the house. So that's just another element uh, of what I've got here for TV and also coaxial for the satellite. 
So hopefully that's given you a little bit more understanding of what I've got going on. What I'm going to do now is go upstairs and show you kind of the other end that goes to the TV once it's gone over the Ethernet cable. Uh, you can see all Jade's uh, presents there that I've been wrapping up uh, on the side. How good is that? N not even December and I'm like packed, uh, wrapped up and ready to go. But I'll be back with you in a second guys. Right, here we go guys. Now this is my living room. Now unfortunately I've got the tree over there uh, which is kind of in the way so it's going to be a bit difficult to show you. I can't move it because all that white stuff on the uh, tree all comes off and goes all over the floor but I'll show you the best I can. So first up, and it's actually on the floor at the moment, um, I've got an Apple TV just there uh, with an iCarbon skin on it, which is why it's white. And next to that, I've got a Airport Express uh, wireless station as well. Now, as we come over onto this wall over here, and I'm not sure how well we're going to be able to see it, I've got this big kind of patch panel here. Now, this has, you can see, hanging out of it, loads of Ethernet cables. And you can see just, I'll try and zoom in. Just there, we've got the two Ethernet cables which were patched uh, from the kitchen which came out of the other side of the HDMI over Ethernet converter. And they actually go down to the other HDMI over Ethernet converter. Now, I'll just try and shine some light down there. And you can see that that HDMI over Ethernet converter there has got, again, two Ethernet cables coming in and then an HDMI cable coming out. And then that HDMI cable goes up into this and then it goes all the way through the wall and then it comes out uh, just by my TV up here which is reflecting like mad at the moment so uh, into the TV up there so you can see there's no cables or anything coming out of it so that's kind of how that works and if we just go back down here again sorry it's pitch black so I'm trying to get some lighting in here for you uh, you can see again there's the HDMI over Ethernet converter and off of the back of that there's also a little cable that comes along and just pointing out of the top of this Apple TV, you can see, just there hopefully, um, that little sort of brown thing poking between the Ethernet, uh, the HDMI cable, if this actually focuses. That is the um, infrared repeater. So at the moment it's just sort of all loose cables, but that's because I've moved the box that normally covers all of this up. Uh, so I can show you guys and in fact because the Christmas tree is in the way so there you go guys um, that was a little bit more of an in-depth view uh, if you've got any questions leave them in the comments and um, maybe I'll do another video a little bit later and try and answer your questions or I'll try and answer them if I get time uh, in the comments but um, I'm just trying to think of any common questions that you guys have asked um, can you watch different channels in different rooms no you have to watch the same channel because it's all coming from the same skybox so you could have separate skyboxes, separate HDMI over Ethernet splitters and send it all to different rooms having a different box in every room if you wanted to and that way you would be able to get around that but I've only got one skybox because we only ever watch one in each room so um, anything else that I can think of um, it's all Cat6 Ethernet, I think I said that earlier uh, you do need to have I believe uh, at least 100 meg full duplex for the HDMI over Ethernet. It may even need to be gigabit, I'm not sure. Uh, so it may need to be Cat5, uh, uh, Cat5 uh, Plus, no, Cat5C, sorry, um, at least, or Cat6. So one of the things I forgot was to show you uh, the one of the home servers that I've got up here that I use for testing and development purposes. Now, this particular one is a Dell PowerEdge uh, 2900. So it's not a very new box, but um, in there we've got eight uh, SCSI hard drives, 10k, uh, sorry, 15k RPM uh, SCSI hard drives. Can't remember the size. It's also got uh, about 30 gig of RAM, uh, a couple of Xeon processors, etc. Uh, in fact, if you want more details on that, head over to the vlog channel and have a look because I've made a full uh, video on it. So you can check that out over there. And like I said in the introduction. This is um, this video was originally intended for the vlog channel, hence the kind of ad hoc, uh, not so good quality, not so well presented nature. So these are the kind of videos that I do over there. I do a video every single day on the vlog channel. So if you're not subscribed to that channel, uh, check out the link in the description and head over there and uh, make sure you're subscribed. And in terms of the networking, you can see that I've got two gigabit ethernet ports patched through into this particular room and they're going into the back of this Dell PowerEdge server 
So that is it this time. Finally, the video is over. Thank you very much for watching. Again, apologies for the kind of quality and ad hoc nature of this video, but like I say, it was really intended uh, for my other channel. Please do make sure you go over there and subscribe, uh, and I will see you all in the next one. See ya.